But we, we talking about you, we're not talking about me. If you trying to be cute and eat some spaghetti, and then a couple months go by, and he or she makes some spaghetti, and you know you love some spaghetti, well, mama be cooking it. Don't act like you don't know you like spaghetti. <laughs> What's up, Lena babies? It's your girl, Selena Corrine here. We are back with another vloggy vlog for Vlogtober, y'all. Time is winding down. Okay, but it's still gonna be bangers coming, so don't worry. If you are new, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, however you define yourself as, do me a favor real quick click that subscribe button get this video a thumbs up and press that notification bell if you are not new hey lena babies i miss you so today y'all big sis y'all little sis if you older than me okay i hear standing in the audience okay i'm gonna give y'all some some little tips i'm gonna put y'all on some game Okay, I you know me when I come on here, I be spitting jewels, I be spitting gems, I be spitting knowledge, I be spitting all the little tea that you be wanting, bestie. So I need you to grab your pen and piece of paper, cause your sis is gonna put you on some game. You seen that thumbnail? I mean, you read the title, so we finna go ahead and get into this video. So, me being your sister. I have to prepare you for your first date. So we finna give some first date advice. Listen, do not try to overdo yourself, okay? Because when you come back home, I'm gonna be highly disappointed when you tell me the story and I see that you was not yourself, okay? We talked about this before you left the house, before you got in the car, before you met them. Let me put y'all on something. A person is going to genuinely like you for you. If you go on a first date, okay, and, and y'all go to an Italian restaurant and you eat some spaghetti and you're trying to eat it all cute, no, first off, no, it's marinara sauce all wrapped around me. But we're we talking about you, we're not talking about me. If you trying to be cute and eat some spaghetti and then a couple months go by and he or she makes some spaghetti and you know you love some spaghetti when well, mama be cooking it don't act like you don't know you like spaghetti you try to eat some spaghetti and you eating it real real fast you got the pepper all in your teeth you got the uh, 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 italian seasoning all wrapped around your tongue and they gonna be looking at you like you was not eating it like that on your first date so as your sister i'm gonna let you know to be yourself Okay, honey, you just go in with your head held high, chest out, hands knuckled up, just in case somebody would be crazy. And you smile, and that's how you do it. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to give y'all an example. Hi, I'm Selena. Yeah, so we finna go ahead. Don't touch me, though, because we don't know each other yet. But I'm gonna give you a chance and we're gonna eat the spaghetti. I wanna let you know. Don't ask why my hands is crossed up, okay? But I'm gonna let you know I love spaghetti. So if you see me being a little, you know, obnoxious or something, just don't worry about it. If you like me for me, you're gonna like me eat my spaghetti and sing. <laughs> I know, I know. I should, I'll be trying to call Tyler Perry. He just keeps sending me the voicemail. But you see how you just act yourself? Now, obviously, that's not how I'm going to act on the first date. But you got to let them know, if you want me, you got to accept me for me. And don't take me on a chicken wings date if you don't want me ordering a 12-piece. Because I'm not going to order no kids meal, sir, or ma'am. Okay? So, you make sure that whoever you are going out with, and don't, 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 I'm just be honest. Don't be doing no blind dates. Okay? If you could clearly have 2020 vision, do not be doing no blind dates. Me being your sister again, <laughs> hey, I'm going to talk to you about a lot of things that we struggle that uh, a lot of people don't understand is a part of certain factors that we've been through in our life. Insecurities, okay? So it's very natural, very easy for us to have insecurities, whether it's our hair, 
whether it's how our face look, whether how our eyes look, how our teeth look, how our skin looks, how our clothes look, those all factors into insecurities. So I want you to know that no matter how you look, no matter what you wear, no matter how your hair is, it's what's inside, okay? Uh, like I said, it's natural for us to have insecurities, so don't be hard on yourself, but those areas where you know there are insecurities, try and work on it. And also, if you have somebody or you know somebody who struggles with insecurities, if you love them, help them with it, okay? So, with that being said, I want you to go in the mirror, whatever you are struggling with that you do not like about yourself, start being positive about that. And it's going to take some time because you're going to be like, who am I fooling? Like, I still feel like a milk carton. You know what I mean? But you can start after you feel like a milk carton. It's okay to feel like, you know, one of the white milks that just get pushed to bed and ain't got no more chocolate milk. Okay? But after you feel how you feel, don't sit in it. Go ahead and be like, but I'm gonna go ahead and be a Coca-Cola bottle today. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Let's go to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to work on self-respect. R-E-S-P-E-K, respect, okay? Put some respect on your name. You always respecting other people or disrespecting other people, but what's the main factor? You not worry about yourself. So we need to start putting some self-respect on ourselves because a lot of times our biggest criticism is ourself. Our biggest downfall is ourselves because we just be out here. Well, I ain't gonna say we. Y'all just be out here. Everybody just be out here wilding and not understanding that what you're doing or your actions out here is coming off very self-disrespectful. Is that a word? I'm going to look that up and I'm going to get back with y'all. But it's like, I don't understand. And it be making me feel so bad when I see other people not giving themselves respect. Whether that's giving the credit that you deserve. Not showing your body and everything on social media. Not talking down on yourself on social media. Because a lot of people that you follow on social media have never seen you before. So all they can go off of is what you're posting, what you're saying, what you're doing on social media. And if you are always portraying negative or downfall things or stuff that is not really showing who you are for real deep inside, it's going to come off as she don't even respect herself or he don't even care what he doing. So why should I, you know what I mean? And that's where we start being trying to understand like, why do they think that about me? Or why are they looking at me like that? It's because you're not giving yourself the respect that you need and you deserve to have a better and healthier and happier life. I'm telling you, your sis, your sis is gonna come on here and, and put you on game, okay? Next one. So the main thing, this one's gonna be real quick, okay? Do not rush into relationships. If you have just gotten out of another one and you are already looking for another or you are trying to talk to somebody or anything and you just got out of a relationship, that is going to be a fail. I'm gonna be brutally honest, brutally is going to be a fail because you didn't even take time to heal from your previous relationship. So all the baggage, all the insecurities, all the hurt that you have from your previous relationship, it's going to come to the next one. So you need to take that time, give yourself two, three, four, however long you need, however long your body tells you you need, however long your heart tells you to need, and begin to heal on those things. Like let it go, forgive that person, make sure all that is out your system because you might miss out on a blessing that comes up next because you didn't let the past go. You didn't let the stuff that you just went through go. And so you're trying to figure out why don't nobody want to be with me? Uh, because you need to bring it out this baggage. Okay. Okay. So my main thing about relationships is whether it's friends, whether it's spouse partner relationships whether it's family relationships make sure you are healing from these relationships before you go talk to somebody else in a relationship or try to help somebody else in a relationship because you can say all this type of stuff but are you practicing what you're preaching parties so i feel like i've only been to like no more than five parties in my life i feel like and that's including 
I guess it's not including family, but I'll probably stay including family because I'm not a party type. Like, I'm a, you can come over to my house. Okay, but as far as me going over there, it'd be too much going on. It'd be too much happening. People getting shot, people getting killed, people getting kidnapped. And I just don't have time to be a part of none of that. Okay, I don't have time. So, to alleviate that, I just don't go. Now, for those who do go to parties, I would say try to limit how many parties you go a month because parties and, you know, drinking and all that, that can play a factor in your hindering from growth. Now, I'm not saying don't have fun. Have fun. Just don't abuse that fun you are having because nine times out of ten when you're going to a party, you're drinking the whole time. You are smoking the whole time. You are flirting the whole time. You are the whole time. You are doing something. So I would say, like I said, I'm going to make it clear. Don't stop yourself from having fun. Just limit how much fun you are having. I see a lot of people, and I'm not nobody to talk, okay? Let's get that understood. But, but... What I'm trying to say is a lot of people go to parties all the time because they're trying to escape or they feel like they're bored or because their friends going and they don't want to feel lonely. And nine times out of ten, people who go to every single party that comes out every single weekend is because they're scared of being lonely. And so they know that all these people is going to be here. They got to every single party. They got to go buy a hundred dollar outfit to show off the best outfit when you're going to be in the dark. Okay. Your J's is finna get stepped on. Okay, you're finna sweat out your edges. So, are you doing it for them or because you don't want to be home alone and you don't know how to be alone? Are you gonna answer? But let's remember, okay, that your big sis is putting you on game. So, some of the stuff you may not want to hear, but me being your big sister for life, I'm going to tell you, and it is my duty. To let you know the things that you need to hear. Next one. Ah! A lot of y'all, a lot of us, I'm going to include myself. A lot of us do not like to hear that we are the toxic ones. We like to think, no, I'm not the toxic one. That person acted how they acted and that's why I reacted the way I did. Mm. But we don't ever start with the initial response or the initial action, which sometimes can be us. And as us, I mean females, okay? It's a girl talk, okay? So let's just get that clear. It be us sometimes, ladies, sisters, okay? It be us sometimes. And with us being the emotional creatures on this earth, we don't even be knowing that, like, our emotions be making it toxic. We just be thinking, like, they don't even want to hear what I got to say. Uh, they don't even just care. But the reason why they probably not putting up with us is because we know and they know that we're being over dramatic, and that's toxic sometimes. It is when you're over dramatic and you know you're being over dramatic, but you're being over dramatic because you want a response. Yeah, it be us sometimes. It be us, and it be them sometimes too. But but we are so quick to just say that they're the toxic ones and we don't ever take self-responsibility, self-accountability, everything about self. You know what I mean? Next one. So, little sister or big sister, in case nobody has ever told you about this, I'm going to spill the tea about it. Peer pressure. So, it's very easy to go to school, to go to work, to go to the store, whatever, and feel like you're under peer pressure. It's easy to be in friendships, relationships, family, whatever the case may be. But as your sister for life, hit that subscribe button because you're stuck. It's very easy for us to get into peer pressure. And I'm just going to be the one to let you know to not fall for it. And so how you don't fall for it, if you feel like a gut-wrenching feeling or a tension in your heart when somebody is telling you to do something, that is peer pressure. If you feel like if you don't do this, you're gonna lose that friend or you're gonna lose that person or you're not gonna be cool, that is peer pressure. 
And so alleviate that. Alleviate people who make you feel like you're under peer pressure or who is tempting you for peer pressure because that means they know that they have to do this in order for you to do it, if that makes sense. So if they like, just take this piece of candy. It ain't gonna hurt. Like they're not gonna lock you up because you all blah, blah, blah. But you know, first off, you don't even like Reese's, okay? And you just want to do it because they like, you're not going to be cool if you don't do it. First off, bye-bye. And you're going to call your big sister or your little sister, Selena. And you're going to let me know who it is, who it was, and where they is. And we're going to get it taken care of, okay? Because what... So, I want you guys to alleviate peer pressure, alleviate people who make you feel like you're under peer pressure, and live your life, do what you want to do, do it how you want to do it, because your sister supports you as long as it is making you happy. Next. Y'all, I see you. You look so good, sis. Like, yesterday, you look way better than yesterday, and it's called glow up. You are glowing up. Y'all, trust the process. Okay, I'm still going through the process. Okay, and I was never called ugly unless it was a hating person or whatever like that. But you got to trust the process. So make sure that every day you go in the mirror and you say, I am beautiful. And if you don't believe yourself, believe your sis. So be like, I am beautiful because my sister said I am beautiful. And call me, and I'm going to say, yes, sis, you was right. I said it. You are beautiful. This is just the part one of a glow up. Let me know if you want a part two, and your sister, that's me, will bring you another part two. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and press the notification bell. Wait, the heck? You better press that. I will see y'all tomorrow for Vlogtober. Bye!